Hi, welcome to Little Candles. My name is Sherry and I make videos all about candle making and the candle business. Today's video is all about how to make wax melts or as some of you may call them, wax tarts. Okay, so for those of you that are new to me, I'm, I'm just going to start out with the equipment that you're going to need. So the first thing that you're going to have to realize about wax melts is that the wax is a harder wax than what you might use for candle making, depending on what you use to make your candles with. So if you want to grab your pen and paper, you can pause me now and get ready to take notes of all the things that you're going to need to make these wax melts. So the first thing that you're going to need, and I got this from, this is the, I, I'm, this is the bag that I'm going to finish off. So this is Tart Wax TW30, and this is from California Candle Supply. So I hope that you can see that label. And this is the wax that I have left, which is enough. We're going to make six wax melts today, so this is more than enough. But I wanted you to see the label and see that it is definitely a different kind of wax. Okay, so the next thing we are since we are making six for today's video is you're going to need these things called clam shells. And basically you'll pour the wax in here will once it's mixed with the fragrance fragrance oil and then you'll clamp these shut and then they're just like you see in the store. So once the finished product gets completed, they'll look like this and you'll put a, you'll create labels and you'll put labels on them and then they'll look like that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is, of course, fragrance oil. So I just randomly picked out a couple of samples that I had, and this is Red Delicious Apple. And I think this is from Nature. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll link it down below wherever it's from. But I just, I mean, it smells like fresh apples. It's just some of the samples that I ordered. And, um, oh, I feel really bad. I don't remember <laughs> Got these I have a ton of can of fragrance samples so I'll make sure that I'll link below where these are actually from but anyway so I grabbed a couple of these and then you'll need also well not so much a timer I just bought this out um, you only really have to mix this well according to the manufacturer's instructions I think it's like 15 seconds 20 seconds that you have to mix it so I guess you could just kind of toss this out of the picture you don't really need that to time it out um, you are going to need a thermometer I use the laser digital thermometer but if you guys have the ones that you like the candy thermometers that you put down in the wax or um, you just look at my supply list and you'll be able to see the thermometer that you're going to need. But for today's video, I'm going to be using this laser, laser digital thermometer. Okay, so you're going to need to create your double boiler. And since I am just doing six wax melts today, I just went ahead and just grabbed a random pot and then my wax pitcher. So you're going to put about an inch and a half, two inches of water in here, and you're going to set your pot down there with your wax in there, and you're going to melt it to the appropriate temperature. Okay, so once you make today's wax melts, and if this is a product that you think that you would like to continue making and, and to sell, then maybe you might want to invest in this. And this is... I don't know the technical name, but it's like when you pour, um, you're making pancakes and you push this lever down and then it puts out a certain amount. It just makes it much, much easier since you have such a small amount that's going in here to reduce the chances of it overflowing out of this container. So I will link this down below if you think that this is something that you want to do on a regular basis. So that's it. You just have your wax, your clam shells or your wax melt containers whatever you want to call them fragrance oil create yourself a double boiler with just a pod in your um wax pouring pitcher you do not have to have this to make your wax melt and you do need to have a thermometer okay so now that we have everything that we're going to need um i'm gonna go ahead and get started Okay, and I did forget to mention that you are going to have to have your um, kitchen scale or whatever it is that you use to weigh your wax. And I measure everything out in grams, as you all who watch my channel already know that. So we are going to get ready. Hopefully this will help me. I've been using a knife to cut my waxes up, and this is a harder wax. 
So we are going to, once again, there's the wax, the Tarte Wax TW30. And for six clamshells, it's going to take... Well, it's a total of 432 grams, and there's 72 grams in each wax melt. And by the time we do, I'm going to do a 15% fragrance oil because in tart waxes, you can do up to 18%, but I chose the number 15% because that is what worked well for me. So we are actually going to need 375 grams of wax. Okay, so we have our picture on there. And we are going to, I'm going to get my cutting board, which is why I used to cut this wax on. And we are going to measure out 375. When this, this, this is actually a bag that held 10 pounds. And a lot of people take a hammer to it and break off big chunks. Um, I actually just dropped it on my kitchen floor. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit barbaric, but that's what I did. So we're going to tear this to zero with the pot sitting on top. And there it goes to zero. So I'm just going to do, yeah, that's not, that's not going to get it. Let me get my knife that I use. Okay, my handy dandy wax cut knife. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just gonna do some larger chunks. And yeah, you hear me struggling here. Woo! That's why you don't wanna use a knife, but I am super careful, I, I really am. Okay, so that's teared off to zero. And again, we want 375. So we're at 67 grams. And I'm putting large chunks. This um, wax actually melts pretty good, so we need that's 279, so we need, yeah, this wax is much harder than my traditional coconut soy wax. Okay, so we got 339. Let's try and see what this brings it up to. Okay, 374, and if you wanna be precise, just add some droplets, and there we go, 375. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is measure out our fragrance oil. And to get, um, I took 432 grams, multiplied that by 115%, and that gave me the 375 grams for the wax, and then 57 grams for the fragrance oil. So we need to measure out 57 grams of fragrance oil at for the 15% amount that we're going to be adding to those 375 grams of wax. Okay, we're going to tear that down to zero. This is just an anchor hawking um, measuring glass beaker. Um, I have used paper cups, but um, I, it's just what I grabbed. You can use paper cups. You can use whatever your, me your measuring methods are. So we're going to measure out. We tear that to zero, and we're going to measure out to 57 grams of fragrance oil. And I hold it on the straw, that way it doesn't drip down the side of, sides of the bottle. So we're just gonna pour it until we get to 57 grams. And one bottle, I promise you, is not going to do it. Okay, so let's hope that the second one, I tried to use up these samples um, and I thought it would be okay for today's video. We're going to be cutting it really, really close to get to this 57. Okay, so we are up to 39. Keep going, keep going. I don't know. I don't think we're going to hit. Well, I don't know. It's getting there. 55, 56. 57, voila. Okay, so we are going to turn our dial to, I kind of put it on medium high heat, maybe number eight, and then we're going to add some water to our wax. And cover the bottom pretty good. Maybe that's about an inch. That should be sufficient. 
Okay, so while we're waiting, you can see already it's starting to melt a little bit. Okay, so the manufacturer suggests that the melt point of this wax is 130 to 135, and you want to pour at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I personally heat this up to about 180. Definitely do not take it over 220. Um, that is according to the manufacturer's suggestion. And I heat it up to 180 because I know that fragrance oil is going to drop the temp a little bit. And I add the fragrance oil around 170, 175. And it, I stir for just a little bit. It says not, you don't have to stir it for long. That Okay, so, and I stir it for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, and just as long as I can see that the fragrance oil is mixed up pretty good, and I go from there. Okay, so our wax is melting down. It won't be long now. Okay, since we have a little bit of time, I'm going to take my um, hot air blower, is what I call it, and I'm going to warm up this... Uh, wax dispenser because you want to make sure that any extra wax is out of here. I mean, it doesn't have to be 100%, but you want to warm it up so it doesn't lose the temperature of the wax while you're pouring it into the wax molds. Oops. Okay, so then I'll just give it a little wipe out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add the fragrance oil. I did um, switch out the fragrance oil for apple. It didn't smell that fragrant. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is black cherry from Candle Science. So I'm going to go ahead and add these 57 grams of black cherry. And you don't have to stir this for very long. So you just want to stir to where you can see that it's pretty well mixed up. I don't know. Oh, wrong direction. I was trying to move so that you could see inside. There you go. And it doesn't take long for it to combine. You don't have to um, stir it and let it um, mix like you do your candles. So let me get a paper towel here. Okay, and it should be ready to pour. Okay, so I've already heated this up with uh, my heat gun. I guess what you got, no, what is it? It's a mini blow, mini hair blow dryer, what have you. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here slowly so we're not creating a lot of um, air bubbles. And then this should be ready to go. Okay, let's get our clamshells over here. I'm gonna come over here at an angle so I can make sure that you're seeing all of this. Let's see if they're all in the picture. Yes, they are in the picture, so let me come this direction and each one of these will be 72 grams so I am going to go ahead and start filling these and there's a little lip in here you'll be able to tell like right below here is kind of where I stop at and if you have a little bit left over you know your measurements may not be precise what have you but at this point you just go ahead and start I just kind of go around and go easy on this little lever because it goes quickly. Okay, let's go to the next one. These are going to smell so good. And this is another way that you can actually start using up some of your ex ex excess <laughs> um, fragrance oils that you have or maybe some of the samples if you've got two bottles of it. I didn't want to risk the apple because it just didn't smell very fragrant to me. So I went with black cherry because um, I've used that in candles before so I knew it would be a good one. And you just fill them up. And this is a great product like people when they buy candles um, because of the low cost. Most people sell these between five to six, five, five or six dollars. Well, maybe not now these days, five dollars. But anywhere from six, I've seen them sell as high as twelve dollars. Actually, the average is about um, seven or eight dollars, and that should be it. They're all filled pretty good, and you allow those to cool. And I'll be back when they have cooled off. 
Okay, so these, I just pulled these off of the cooling rack. They have been cooling for about three hours and I can no longer feel any warmth under there. So I think as long as we handle them carefully, they're okay to go ahead and close and put the labels on. But just know this, that although it may feel cool on the outer edges, it still can be warm and soft in the center of the cubes here. So you just wanna be careful how you handle them after about three hours. But I am going to go ahead and close these up just to show you how it goes. And you just pop them shut. And that's what it looks like. So we're gonna pop all of these shut. And while they were cooling, I did go ahead and whip up some labels for them. And I decided to call these Black Cherry. And if you missed my video um, about how to make your own labels at home, the great thing about making labels at home is that that's like I wasn't planning on having black cherry scented uh, wax melts. I had originally had chosen. Oh, I don't know if that's clear enough. It looks like it is. Okay. Yeah, time I put the label on there. Um, but I had chosen the apple at first, but then I kept smelling an apple and it's like, oh, that's not quite strong enough. Even though you're actually adding a much higher, like these are 15% fragrance oil, whereas my candles are only 10% um, fragrance oil, some of them down to 6%. So there you have it. So I'm gonna take these off of here just so I can see a little bit better without the glare. And I'll show you the labels here in a minute that I made for them. I guess I'm not handling them too carefully after. Okay, after I told you guys to be careful with them, then I'm like roughing them up. Okay, so there they are. Um, these are the labels that I just created within the past hour or so. So I'm going to pop one on there. I'm not going to do them all for the sake of time. I'm going to make sure that... Let's see, that it's square on. I usually look for that little indentation and try to get it like right in the middle there. Well, yeah, these paper ones, they don't, all right, I'm gonna mess it up, right?